Welcome to this J Events video on how to set up Joomla and install J Events in a few simple steps. We'll assume you've already got a web server up and running, and in this scenario we're using MAMP, and this will just run the website on a local live installation. Okay, so first of all, we'll head on over to Joomla.org and download, select the latest full package release, usually the green one, and then it'll automatically download away. Once it is downloaded, double click it to extract it, depending on what archive you're using, and you'll have all your files. Copy them to your web server, like so, and just now access your web server. Okay, so fill out all your information, your site name, your description, here you've got your email address, obviously needed, your username, and your password. and click next. Enter your database details, this is set up when you set up your web server and you'll create a new database for most installations. OK. You can install sample data if you wish, if you're not sure on how to use Joomla, you've not used it before, so it's advisable to install some sample data. For example, we will install the standard blog for today. The green icons mean yes everything is good. If they were red that means that something Joomla doesn't really like and you should look at modifying your PHP settings to allow Joomla to give it a green light. Okay so now click install. Joomla install very quickly as you can see and remove your installation folder. So what we'll do is we'll open the tab to the administrator and view the site. So as you can see we've selected blog so it's given us some, some demo data so you can see what goes on and, and how it all works. You can log in there. Okay, so we log in at the back end, which is your forward slash administrator. Now we've got username, enter username, and your password. And we're in. Okay, so this is standard Joomla interface. Now we want to install J events because we're doing this quickly. So you go to extensions, extension manager. Now you can install the Add to Web tab, which would make life easier, and you would just be able to click JVent Install. However, at the moment, at the time of doing this video, JVent Install from Joomla, sorry, um, Install from Web is not currently working, and they are experiencing some te technical difficulties. So we'll just select Choose Your Package. We'll select JVent. So you select the JVent package to install. Click Upload and Install. The package installs exactly what it tells you here, the core, the latest event, the mini calendar module, the filter, the legend, the switch view which allows you to change between J events views, search and a filter. So now we've installed it, we need to configure it, so we'll just head over to configuration. The main thing to configure is in permissions, you need to select an admin ideally, um, this will set the admin who are notified of pending events and so on. Use the enable user authorization again, leave disabled unless you specifically need it, otherwise, we'll use a Joomla ACL. We can go into that later. Once you're happy, select the view by default. We use the flat view because the latest one and click save and close. This is JVents 3.2 working up and running, and as you can see, there. So, want to add an event, we'll add a test event new. Um, demo event. Let's set it at some some point in the future. Let's go for April twenty second. It is a bit early. Let's go for now and click. We don't want twenty four hour really. Okay, so we have daily, weekly. These are if you wanted repeating, which we don't particularly at the moment. We'd have a standard day. Click save and close. Now we need to create a way of accessing. J events from the front end of the website. So all your friends, all your users, you know, they can see it. So we'll go to main menu, and this, if you have a look on here, will be one of these. These are your menus. That's your menu, these are your other posts, those red posts. So we've got home, about, and auto login, which as you see, home, about, auto login. Click new. We'll call this um, our events calendar. Select menu item type, now that's the type of menu you're going to create 
and we're going to create a GA events menu. I'm going to go for the view by month. I like that one the best. But you can select any other at any point if you decide to later down the line your default page and you don't like it view by month. Just click select. Again, back into GA events and you can do date range, list. There's quite a lot to choose from. Choose layout view again. This is if you want to override. We don't particularly, so we'll just, just ignore that at the moment. And just click save and close. Now if we go back to our front end, click home. There we go, our events calendar is there. And we have a nice events calendar. As you can see, no events during this month. Go to next month. And there we go, we've got our J events demo. Very basic, didn't give it any information. Just the standard demo. Now, just to make things a little bit more interesting, we'll add a module. Modules are assigned to positions like this. So we'll go to again extensions, module manager. And as you see by default, ours are installed, but they're not set to publish or appear anywhere. So what we'll do is we'll go into the J events calendar because that just shows a mini view of what you've just seen. Set it to published. We'll set the position, usually position seven for the right hand side. Which, as you can see, yeah, protest got position seven. And we'll go to J events calendar. The target menu items need setting on all modules. This is to basically what the module will use when association with events occurs. So if there's an event occurring and you want to go to that view, it will use that target menu item for SES, SEF purposes. And then we'll use settings below. These are just what you can show in the module. You can see previous month, previous year shows the arrows, current month, and so on. You just click save and reload the front page and it's not there. Now a lot of people would be assuming there's an issue with the module but actually you've got to go to menu assignment and as you can see by default all our modules when installed are set to no pages. So you can select when page is selected or in this scenario we just put all pages. Click save, reload and there you go. We've got a nice little J events mini calendar module. You click the day. So let's go to March and then click the 22nd. As you can see, there was an event occurring on the 22nd because it's highlighted in blue. Okay, and that concludes this video. If you have any questions or want any support, please follow up on the J events forums at www.jevents.net.